Our teachers collect data all day uh, through homework assignments, projects, quizzes, tests, conversations with students and parents. We really want our coaches to explore the possibility of making decisions based on data. And up until now, without a system like Catapult, our coaches are going mainly on feel and experience. Uh, the last couple years, we've been talking about utilizing some wearable technology. And Matt and I have been doing a lot of research over the last roughly two years. You know, we were looking for a wearable technology that at the high school level can be worn without interfering with the game. We cannot wear any jewelry, we can't have anything dangling off of us, so we are not allowed to wear different wearable devices that are on the market right now that are around your wrist or, um, you know, just outside of your clothing. We were originally looking into consumer wearables. We were excited about the possibility they might give us, but we eventually found out that they'd only give us the most basic data to work with. What we started to realize was that some made sense for us, some didn't make sense for us. I was doing some research on some other wearable technology and Catapult came up and as I am reading about Catapult, I was blown away because it captured exactly what we were looking for plus so much more. Catapult had something that, that none of the consumer wearables would be able to provide to us, especially as it related to health and wellness. As we look at how do we train our student athletes, are we doing too much, are we doing too little? Are we preparing them enough for competitions? Um, are they ready to return to play? We'll have data to back that up now and we can make decisions based on that data instead of based on a feeling or based on experience with other athletes. In terms of wearable technology for our female student athletes, these are perfect. Um, the bros or the garments that are worn are no different than what the girls are already used to and putting the units, the devices, in the back of them at the beginning and taking them out at the end of practice is simple. It takes a second, it's no big deal, um, and you don't notice it when they're on. The thing I'm most excited about is seeing the continuity over multiple sports. We have one of our basketball athletes who's also playing lacrosse this year, and so we'll get a chance to see the impacts of that cross training. Knowing that there is a science behind what we're asking our kids to do and why we're asking them to do it to support those decisions is really important. Knowing that I am putting my athletes through tough training sessions but it's not too much and it's not too little to prepare for games, that's important to me. I'm excited to be one of the first schools in the country, the first high schools to implement this device and it's going to change high school athletics.